Hey legal professionals, thank you so much for coming back to my channel again. Here at Legally Techie, we show you how to use Google Workspace, formerly known as G Suites, for your law firm. So today I'm going to show you how to report a phishing or spam email. And I got this email sent to my personal inbox, but I went ahead and forwarded it because I want to show you guys just some key things to look out for when you get a phishing email and how the bad guys try to catch you. So of course, um, when they sent the email, you see Amazon Prime. And but you can see based on the email, this is not really an Amazon email address, but they covered it up by putting Amazon Prime as the sender. Also, too, um, they went ahead and have an attachment at the bottom, which why exactly will Amazon be attaching anything at the bottom? Um, also, too, always look out for misspellings or grammatical errors. Those are also definitely red flags you want to keep out for. And then when you actually open the document but not download it within your computer, you don't want to download it to your computer. But what's good about Gmail, you can preview documents without um, downloading them. Here they have you go to a link. And as you can see on my bottom left, I can kind of preview the link exactly what it is. So again, it's not even taking me to Amazon. As you can see in the bottom left, it's another long link and you don't want to click on that. And as you can see, they always try to make it seem like it's very urgent. You need to do it right now. They put a deadline. Your orders will be canceled. Your account will be locked permanently. Just try to scare you. Um, but as you can see, just look out for what those red flags, whether it's the email address, grammatical errors, if it's an attachment, and also always, always Look at the link before you click on it. So once you verify this is a phishing email, of course, the first thing you want to do is report it phishing or you can report spam. This is definitely a phishing email, so you want to go ahead and do that. And what that does is let your Google Workspace admin for your law firm know that this domain right here needs to be either blocked or what needs to be set up so these type of emails are not even entering the environment in the first place. So thank you so much for watching. Please share, like, subscribe, and if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them for you.